Hi, it's Chrissy again for New Parent Support. Um, we're talking a little bit about mom's body, giving mom some time to adjust back to pregnancy. Now, this is we're talking mostly about mothers giving birth during this. So if that's not your family dynamic, then, then that's fantastic as well. Um, that doesn't mean that someone who is adopting or um, has gone through a uh, some kind of an assisted birth like um, like IVF that they might not still need time to adjust because the baby will interrupt their sleep schedules. I actually had this the sensation of feeling out touched when I had a newborn, just meaning that I had a child on me all the time. So when the child was asleep, I kind of wanted nobody to touch me for a while. I wanted to be in my own space, um, but I also gave birth and during pregnancy I. So I had three children. I gained and lost 50 pounds with each of my three children. And um, I'm not going to say my weight, but that is almost 50% of my body weight. So having that big of a change in uh, the way I, I looked, I didn't look the same. I didn't talk the same. I didn't walk the same. I was not the same person at all. So I was very uncomfortable in my body, and it took me a long time to get back to where I was. And that was just my biological makeup. So realize that that might have happened and the change in appearance and the change in their physicality might be harder for them to adjust for several reasons. Um, the clothes don't fit, um, I'm uncomfortable going out to certain places, and I might not be as ready to be physically intimate. Here's another thing with COVID-19. Salons, beauty parlors, um, places you might go to get massage or facials, those are all shut down. So for example, this is my hair color and this is dyed hair, okay? So think too about some of the ways that someone might be maintaining themselves and then may not be able to maintain themselves during COVID-19. Um, so provide that space and just realize that physical changes are just a part of the makeup, okay? People who are able to go through those changes as a couple and understand those changes and work through them, that makes them stronger together, all right? Offer to help around the house, okay? Anything, anything that you can do to help. How can I help is one of the most powerful phrases you can use when coming back. How can I help? Can I help by cleaning the floor? Can I help by taking out the trash? Um, and just do things that you see that need help. If mother needs to uh, be out of the house, have, needs to have a break by themselves, get involved in bottle feeding. If bottle feeding is not um, something that you can do, if the child only wants to have breast milk from the tap, um, maybe find some other ways that you can bond. Um, realize that, that parenting will change your relationships with your friends, with your family, and with your significant other, and that's okay. Um, there are friends that I had before the, um, when I was just a married couple, and those were different than when I was single, and those are different when I had kids. I found that as my children aged, um, my children's friends kind of determined who our friends were after a period of time. Um, so might not be um, some of your activities might change as well. It's going to be hard to um, stay up all night at, at the club. The clubs aren't open during COVID-19, but it's hard to stay up all night at the club and then take care of a baby at 5 a.m. So realize that every parent goes through this and eventually you will get some of your independence back, but maybe not during this period of time with a newborn. When baby naps, mom and dad should nap too, or should have some time to take to themselves, okay? Don't feel like, take time regularly to decompress. Parents get themselves into problems when they assume that they can just keep powering through until they get to a point where they feel like they can't anymore, they're overwhelmed, they're crying, they're weeping, um, and then they need to have general help. Um, this is, again, this situation is really difficult because some of the other organizations that I would recommend, like Armed Services YMCA, like the drop-in care at the child care development centers, um, some of the other places that I would recommend are not an option. So get creative with some of the ways that you can give yourself a break, okay? I'm there too. I'm, I'm working from home. I have three kids. It's, it's, um, it's a struggle for all of us, but prep yourself to give yourself a regular break so you don't get to the point where you can't anymore. So this is one of the more depressing parts of what we're gonna talk about next. Um, shaken baby syndrome does happen. Um, it is serious, it is a problem, 
Um, shaken baby syndrome happens basically when I take the baby and even so much as a little shake like this could either cause neck damage or brain damage to the child. Basically what happens with shaken baby syndrome is I get so overwhelmed and um, just completely unable to handle the stress of a crying child anymore that I lose my temper. And this will cause brain damage, permanent brain damage. The child might not be able to walk, eat for themselves, speak, um, if that happens. So realize too that all parents get overwhelmed. If your child is crying and you've tried everything you can, it's okay to place that child in a safe space like a crib with nothing else in it um, and allow that child um, to just cry for a moment while you get yourself back together, okay? And that's totally normal. I actually have industrial sized um, hearing protection <laughs> in my home for those crying fits. And it's not, so, it's not so much that I can't hear what's going on at all, it just takes the edge off of a crying fit, all right? So consider what works for you. Um, the other thing that we want to remind people of as well is that family care plan is required for anyone that has a child. If you are single mill, dual mill, or if you have a spouse that travels frequently for work, so if I'm married to someone who's a um, airline attendant or is a drug rep or someone that's a traveling nurse, or if I'm married to someone who has no command of the local language or can't buy for themselves. Um, so think too about if a family care plan applies to you or not. Um, you can come to our offices for family care plan consultation, and then your command should have a family care plan coordinator. Um, but the family care plan is not a legal document, it is a required document, um, but we wanna make sure that if you are deployed, if you are, um, if there is a TDY you go on, if there's some sort of national emergency that someone can care for your child. So realize that is a requirement and reach out to us um, if you have questions about how to fill out a family care plan. So these are some of the additional key resources that we have. We have us um, and 24, 24 hour fleet and family military one source. Um, new parent support, we talked about them. This is the Armed Services YMCA. It's a different branch of the YMCA. This is who we recommend for childcare referrals. So if you can't get into the CDC and you need childcare, this is who we recommend. Once again, childcare is shut down. Um, not all of them are shut down, but some of them are shut down due to COVID-19. Um, so realize that, that this is a difficult thing for most of us um, who are dealing with um, childcare issues, okay? Um, United Through Reading, we talked about them a little bit, Child and Youth Programs. 211 offers general resources for people who have questions about, um, you know, I need some help baby proofing. Maybe you can recommend a handyman. I can't recommend a handyman, but 211 can, so I can refer you to them. Okay, and Navy Legal Services, you can reach out to them if you have questions about a will, questions about um, uh, maybe some allotments, something that needs to be covered for uh, uh, custody, things like that. Make sure you reach out to them. The American Red Cross and, and WIC, we do have a, a WIC representative at the American Red Cross. Make sure your WIC representative knows how to read um, an LES, because most regular WIC representatives won't. Um, the USO offers help for new parents and for parents of children. Operation Homefront, TRICARE West, um, and you have to get TRICARE West dental for children. Even newborns do need dental care because something could happen. They could have a mouth injury and that would not be covered by TRICARE. Um, and then FOCUS is one of the entities I like for um, resiliency training, although they do not treat newborns. We're looking at three and up for FOCUS. All right. Uh, so if you have any other additional questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us. Our centralized scheduling number is still operational during COVID-19. You can reach out to us by email um, and your dependents and beneficiaries can come to us for any questions that they have. So thanks for watching this new parent brief. Um, give those babies a hug from me when you get home. And we're look for looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful faces when we see you after this is all over. Thank you for what you do. Bye.